And, but not all businesses are on board with that change. Restaurants were using this area for outdoor dining, one of the things that helped them to pay the bills over the last couple of years for obvious reasons. And people working at the businesses have some mixed feelings about that change. Fox 40's Jean Nguyen joining us now live from R Street with what they had to say. Jeannie. Eric and Nikki, there are a lot of different emotions behind the reopening of this street behind me. And I'm going to step out of the way so you can see this is a site we haven't seen in a while. Cars driving through our street between 14th and 15th and cars parked along the curb. But the businesses we spoke with today tell us this is going to take some time to get used to. Over the past two and a half years, cars like these haven't been able to drive through our street between 14th and 15th, but this week it all changed. It's been awesome seeing the streets open up and a lot more foot traffic come through here. Nick Burke works at Burgers and Brew and says having the street in front of his restaurant with flowing traffic again is something he's missed. It was kind of a big shocker, right, because this is, area is so busy and there's so many cars that come through here. And so once it kind of shut off, it was like, there was at times where it felt really dead. Our street and Capitol Avenue between 18th and 19th reopened earlier this week, following the city of Sacramento's new alfresco dining program, making it a permanent option for businesses to keep their outdoor dining patios. That new program went into effect on Monday. And the team worked with businesses, including those on our street for months on developing the final program and the council put $2 million into the program. But businesses along our street couldn't agree to keep the road closed following the city's new program because the fees associated with the closures would end up being the business's responsibility. It's something that Damian Masterson wishes didn't have to happen. It definitely helped us because like just this morning we had to load in, you know, this trailer and this giant tour bus, but we had to put out a cone and we still got cars coming by. So sometimes it puts us at risk. We got to dodge cars on this street. Even though it's only been a couple days since the street has reopened, he says it's something he'll have to get used to. It's pretty overwhelming because we this was all brand new. We basically had to relearn how to get these tour buses and trucks in while you know we have regular traffic coming through. Now, a representative for the R Street Partnership District says, that oversees this area here says there will be options for future outdoor dining, but what you see here right now is, for now, going to be a long-term thing. Live in Midtown, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.